you know what, this is going really well. Take, I take my words back. I think we might be able to win this if he doesn't protect my hog. So, yeah, this is GG's. Yo, no freaking way I won this match. Yo, what is going on, everybody? I am back with another video, and as you guys may be able to tell from my hot bar, I'm actually running Hog EQ once again, but instead of Evo Tesla, I'm actually using Bomber and I'm using Evo Te or Evo Skeletons in place of the Evo Tesla, just because Bomber or uh, Bomb Tower has actually been very good in the meta lately, especially with the uh, Evo Goblin Giant. And also, a lot of people have been using this deck without the Evo Tesla since the Evo Tesla did get nerfed. And the only reason I really haven't used this deck, and I actually discussed this in the comments with someone, is like um, the Tesla is. Kind of like your really only like big hard hitting air defense beside your firecracker since your firecracker could like kind of die within just like arrows so i don't know that's why i've been using it but i wanted to try it today so we are having a pretty good defense off the bat um i'm actually wasting elixir right here what am i doing bro all right so mighty miner is going to go up i actually will activate the ability just so i get some damage on the tower and get some damage on the mother witch as well the mother witch will make a hog out of that one freaking mighty miner but you know it's all right Firecracker is going to kill that Mother Witch. I will actually go down with the Hog Rider, and the Firecracker gets another hit, so that's really good for me. We'll actually go Bomb Tower to counter that Hog, just because the Skeletons will just keep countering that freaking Miner and won't counter that Hog. We'll go Ice Spirit for those Goblins right there. Nice. Alright, so that went pretty well. I actually will go Mighty Miner for his um, Golden Knight right there, just so we can't dash. Alright, yeah, his Mother Witch is going to go up. He uses Heal, heal Spirit. Oh my god, I can't speak. Maybe my Mighty Miner could kill his Mother Witch, that would be nice. Yes, nice. I didn't even have to pop the ability either. I'm just going to let that Hog be, honestly. And then as soon as it dies, I'll just go Hog Rider with the Firecracker if I need it. Um, I'm just getting ready for Firecracker because I may not need it. Yeah, I actually will use it with those Skeletons. Just because the Skeletons will actually give me some extra damage right there. So that's nice. Alright, so it actually hits his, hits his Archers too. His Archers should be able to die right there. We'll go Bomb Tower now. I can't go Evo Skellies just yet because obviously my Evo Skellies would get demolished by his Mother Witch and just create a bunch of the Hogs. Alright, Mother Witch was not able to connect there. Or not Mother Witch, Firecrack wasn't able to connect. I will go Mighty Miner in the back just to start off with the defense. So, so far this deck is looking really good, honestly. The fact that I haven't versed a lot of air troops is very nice for me. Alright, I will go Hog Rider, and then I could just go, um, what's it called, Firecracker right there. Alright, so, Firecracker should actually be able to finish off the tower, not nah, dies actually, sadly, but, no, that's alright, I went Earthquake, and then I will actually go Bog here. This is more or less just to, uh, finish off those Evo Archers, just because those are low-key scary, since they got their damage buff, and, like, the, the fact they do, like, double the damage now is, it's pretty crazy. Um, alright, so... Mighty Miner goes down for that Mother Witch. I will go Evo Skellies now for that might for his normal miner since he did use Mother Witch. He might try to cycle back to Mother Witch. Oh no, he's actually on freaking uh, Goblin Spell or Goblin Curse. I'm saying Spell. That's well played by him. But we end up winning this match, and we're gonna go into the next one, you guys. All right, going into this one, we are versing Luigi. All right, so this guy had a freaking balloon badge. If you guys saw, I'm looking a little uh, kind of scared that he had that balloon badge, being that I only have freaking firecracker as my only real air defense but you know what? it's all right we got hog rider right away just to stop his push basically because he needed to protect it and he started off with skeleton skeleton king on the right side so it more or less did look like he was going to start a push all right so i actually will go mighty miner right here and then i could use the ability if i absolutely need to um yeah i actually will pop the ability there just because everything is pretty close right there and i could just go bomb tower and finish everything off nice that was a really good defense i'm glad i used that ability right there all right, so I just realized he seems, he's using Dagger Duchess, so that is kind of bad for me. If I was using a tank, it would be pretty pretty nice for me, but obviously I am using Hog Rider, so he does pretty much do like half my Hog health with that Dagger Duchess alone. But you know what? If I'm able to spam and just keep the Dagger Duchess low on magazine size, I could do some decent work. We'll actually go Firecracker for that Night Witch, do some extra damage. It's nice for me. All right, yeah, gets a shield off on that Wizard too. That's really nice. Alright, so I will actually have to kind of do the same play here, just um, go with like the Mighty Miner, and then I will actually log it this time, log everything right there, and then I could just go with the uh, ability right there. Alright, so this isn't looking too good for me right now, you guys. He has freaking E-Golem deck, I just realized, um, because he has the Skeleton King too, I should have known it was E-Golem. So I just went Bomber right there just to counter his E-Mites, obviously. Ice Spear just to counter that King. Alright, so we'll actually go Hog Rider right away now. And then I could go Firecracker once more. Yeah, I will go Firecracker. 
Alright, so hopefully I can actually end up taking this tower eventually in this match, because this match is low-key looking scary. Alright, so I could just go skeletons here, just to counter that freaking uh, E-Golem. I'm not too sure why he's rushing my tower. I feel like that's the worst play for him to do. Or rushing my king tower, uh, not my normal tower. If you rush my like normal princess tower, I feel like that would have been the best play, but maybe that's just my own opinion. We'll go firecracker with that hog once more. We'll pay for him for going void, honestly, but I think my hog should be able to take the dagger duchess. Ooh, nice. The fact that the dagger duchess was out of ammo just completely ruined it. Nice. All right, so I will go hog right on the right side now with the firecracker. Just keep applying pressure. All right, so he's actually building a push on the left side now. We'll play by him, honestly. So we'll have to go log those evil skeletons just so they don't make their way to my tower. We'll have to go bomb tower up high. And I will actually go mighty miner for his wizard. And also just like tank for everything right there, obviously. We'll have to go firecracker for the Egolem. I could have went log too, but I'd rather add my firecracker down right now. Alright, so Hog went down. Um, maybe I could get a hit. Please, that would be nice. No, no hits really. Alright, so I do have to go bomb tower here. I do have another firecracker for everything right there. And I could go uh, Mighty Miner just because the Mighty Miner doesn't get knocked back either from that wizard shield. It's so nice. We had a really good defense right there. It took no damage. I'm going to go in with the Hog Rider. The Mighty Miner will actually be able to tank the hits from the Dagger Duchess. So that's really nice for me. He goes void a little late. And my uh, Firecracker was able to hit his wizard. So that's really nice for me. His uh, wizard will actually have to take my Bomb Tower. But I was just getting ready to place another one right there. Firecracker goes down. And then I could go, um, what's it called, Evo Skellies. Do you have to log his Evo Skellies though? Because obviously they could do so much damage to my tower if I leave him be. We'll go freaking Bomb Tower once again. This is the one thing I hate when I verse hog EQ decks or hog cycle decks is just the fact that they get they can get back to their building so fast. But when I'm using it, it's honestly a little fun to see how fast I can get back to my building. So uh, I just wanted to point that out. All right, so hopefully we can win this match if I don't choke. Um, but you know what? Anything is possible. So choking is definitely a possibility, and I don't want to do it. <laughs> All right, so I could go Firecracker right here for that Egon. The Mighty Miner will be able to take out his Skeleton King and his Wizard if his freaking Night Witch doesn't hit it at least. All right, yeah, Skeleton King is basically done for right there. Could go freaking, um, what's it called, Bomb Tower just to finish off that Night Witch. Damn, that Night Witch did a bunch of damage to my Bomb Tower, not going to lie. I will go Hog Rider, and then I will immediately go Firecracker. You're, you guys are going to see this play here. Look at that Firecracker play. That was really nice. All right, so do you have to go freaking, um, what's it called, Vlog right there. This is kind of bad now. Just because his uh, Evo Skellies were getting pretty close, but to the all right, we do have to go bomb. Oh my god, I just completely misplaced my bomb tower. If I just messed up my game, I'm gonna be a little upset. All right, but I know that's all right. I do have two bomb towers in the tower on the thing right now, just because um, his Egolem obviously got distracted by the first one. All right, so this is actually kind of like scary now. Oh, nice, we got a hit on the tower with my hog. So if I actually play this well, I just freaking cycle really fast. Yeah, we definitely win this match no matter what. This is GG's, yo. Oh my god, yeah, this match is getting a little scary at the start, or uh, in the middle of it, but you know what, this is GG's. We're gonna go into the next one, you guys. Alright, going into this next one, we are versing Hound. Alright, bro, this guy has a freaking, like, silver uh, tournament badge, so this guy's gonna be pretty good. He goes with the Evo Zap, just starting off with that. Alright, so, I'm gonna see what I can do here. I do have Firecracker for the uh, cycle. I do have Hog Rider as well, so I'm probably gonna go with that. Alright, so he's just going Lava Hound. I'm just gonna go Mighty Miner with the freaking Hog Rider. Hopefully he doesn't have much to defend that right now, just because obviously if he did, I would be totally dead. And that Firecracker is actually able to start hitting that Lava Hound right away, so that's pretty nice for me, honestly. His Skeleton Dragon should be able to um, die before his freaking uh, Lava Hound, hopefully, or die before, yeah, die before his Lava Hound, what am I saying? Can't talk. Alright, so I will go Firecracker for his Lava Hound right there. And then, obviously, he's probably going to arrow it. Yeah, there it goes. This is the one bad thing that I didn't want to verse with this deck. And um, in my comment section, this is the one reason I said, like, why I wasn't running this deck. Because once you verse, like, a Lava Hound player, it's pretty much over. Like, and I took this guy's um, advice. Like, even if you do, like, kind of rush the other side, it is kind of still pretty hard to defend. Because, obviously, this guy's got his Lava down first play. So, that's going to be a really hard defense compared to, like, if he wasn't able to get his Lava Hound down. We'll actually go ability right there. No, not much of a point for an ability, but, you know, it's completely okay. Just because our Mighty Miner is just going to walk the same way anyways. Alright, so he goes Inferno Dragon now. I will actually go Ice Spear for that Inferno Dragon because he's probably going to think it's going to just counter. And then I will actually go Evo Skellies here just because he might not predict it. And Evo Skellies will actually take everything out if he doesn't do anything. But obviously you guys saw he did zap it. So 
That was kind of bad. I did actually end up almost taking his tower right there, so that's quite nice for me. And I do actually have to evo a firecracker. He's going to arrow it once more. Like, this guy just... Obviously, he's going to arrow it. Like, what, what else would he do? All right, bomb tower goes down. All right, that bomb from the bomb tower should actually be able to help kill those lava hound pups and do some damage to that inferno dragon. Yep, there it goes. Nice. And he goes with balloon once more. All right, bro. This guy's getting a little... uh little close now nice oh my god that ice spirit was like perfectly timed holy crap i will actually immediately just go with another hog yeah he's just gonna start off with another freaking uh, inferno dragon push i will actually go with firecracker right here oh no i'll actually go mighty miner please yes hog rider got another hit no way i could actually take the tower with just my um earthquake now so if i defend pretty well i would be really happy about that i will actually go hog rider on the right side not gonna lie just so he has to defend just because he can't get a balloon in if he has to defend with that Mighty Miner and the Hog. You know what? This is going really well. Take, I take my words back. I think we might be able to win this if he doesn't protect my Hog. So, yeah, this is GG's. Yo, no freaking way I won this match when I'm not having any other defense than freaking Firecracker. Yo, what the heck? This is actually freaking so weird that I won that match. All right, yo, I'm going to show you guys the deck, though. All right, here is the deck if you guys want to use it. Obviously, you could see it is Evo Skellies, Evo Firecracker, Log, EQ, Bomb Tower, Ice Spirit, Hog Rider, and Mighty Miner. Now, that last freaking match was absolutely insane with the freaking Lava Hound, not going to lie. But I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please check out my other videos. But otherwise, I hope you guys have a great day and have a good one, you guys.